Hello, today myself, Lieutenant Woodger and Lieutenant Seamus, we're going to be talking about how to join the Sea Cadet program, both as a cadet and as an instructor, either as a civilian instructor or as a member of the Cadet Instructor's Cadre. So, first of all, like I said, I'm Lieutenant Woodger, and this is Lieutenant Paul Seamus, the current commanding officer of RCSCC Ontario, and I'm going to be asking a few questions about how to enroll in the Sea Cadets. So Paul, what is the first step to becoming a sea cadet? The first step to becoming a, a sea cadet at uh, RSSC Ontario would be to uh, check out our website, rssccontario.com. And in there, you're going to find, um, uh, under admissions, you're, you're going to find uh, two forms. There are two forms in there. Uh, one is the uh, application form to join the program, and the other one is the, uh, the health questionnaire that must be answered. The health questionnaire essentially is um, a questionnaire uh, in which we need to know if you have any allergies or anything like that, um, in case uh, you know we, we may have an allergy and we need to inform other people about that allergy. So those are the two first uh, forms that uh, you, you need to fill out. Okay, so I've printed the form, filled it out, what do I do next? Then uh, next, uh, you come to the unit. Uh, we'll introduce you to the rest of the cadets. And uh, uh, you'll be under the care of uh, our coxswain, the senior cadet. And um, you'll start participating. First, out of uniform for about four weeks. And then um, in uniform, uh, we have an ordering pro process. We have to measure the, the cadet. And um, it takes about four weeks out of uniform. And then the uniform will be issued. Are there any costs associated with the program? Uh, there are no costs uh, as far as uh, paying a membership fee. There, there's none. Uh, there is uh, a requirement that cadets uh, participate in uh, our fundraising events. We have uh, two major events called uh, Tag Days, and uh, one in the spring, one in the fall, where cadets uh, um, hand out these uh, tags and people donate money. And those are our two major fundraising events, and we ask all cadets to participate in that. What kind of time commitment is involved in being cadet? Uh, we ask cadets to be at the unit uh, at least once a week. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are located at uh, 550 uh, Pinch Avenue West in uh, North York at the uh, Northview Heights Secondary School. And uh, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and if they cannot make it, to uh, call us and let us know that they can't make it. Are there any weekend activities that happen? There are weekend activities throughout the year. Um, uh, every now and then it will be posted on our website, rccontario.com. Uh, some examples of that is um, we have coming up now on April 24th, we have our steaming ship day at uh, Old Fort York, uh, where uh, another five units are coming down, and we're going to spend a, a day um, there on a Saturday doing a lot of steaming, Sunday, uh, doing a lot of steaming ship practice. And uh, what about the summer? Is there anything to do in the summers with cadets? Yes, uh, cadets may qualify to uh, summer camp. That's uh, short for uh, cadet training centers. And uh, our main center here is uh, in Kingston, HMCS Ontario. And um, cadets can qualify to apply for uh, a free, essentially free, uh, summer camp experience. And it can go from two to eight weeks, depending on their age and rank. Great. So, Paul, what? Kind of activities you see cadets actually do? Um, sea cadets actually do uh, essentially what the cadet program in general is is very similar to uh, a scout program. Essentially, we are a youth group. Uh, so, so some some people think that we're a boot camp. We're not a boot camp. We're a youth group. Uh, when we are uh, naval in 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 mind, we're naval minded youth group. So uh, we do some sailing. We teach a lot of seamanship, we teach some uh, drill. Uh, what we do in the cadet program is uh, we try to uh, raise uh, our young people to um, the level that they will be uh, happy, uh, you know, functional, functioning members of, of society. So um, there are weekend activities, there's camping, there's all that kind of stuff, but essentially we're, we're all about uh, helping develop youth. Thank you.